to this week's episode of Weekly Brew. Uh, this week, uh, me and my friend here are going to be playing uh, a couple standard brews. Uh, mine is essentially, it's just Abzan Agro. I'm trying it out with, uh, uh, what is it, Den Protector, and seeing how that works out along uh, play sets of Wardens of the First Tree, Fleece Main Lions, uh, Rakshasas and Sea Drinos and three of uh, Anafenza the foremost. Uh, what are you playing this week? I am playing a. Uh, I've been building a blue red version of uh, a deck for a while, and I made some slight upgrades with Dragons of Tarkir. I actually, after I put this together for today, I realized that somebody from Star City had already put it together. Something very very similar. And uh, he's got better cards, cards that I would have included. Uh, I have Flame Wreath Phoenix at the time. Flame Wreath Phoenix, pretty good, but obviously uh, Thunderbreak Regent is a more potent inclusion. So if I was to play this in a tournament, I would I'd swap that out. And there's a few other cards that um, I would probably switch as well. But for the most part, it's the, the soul of it is uh, kind of a deck that's bounce and burn and counter, and it's got a scry element to it. So we'll hopefully see if it works. All right. Uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, and then uh, brew for the week. Uh, this is a Dogfish Ale 60-minute IPA, the continually hopped India <laughs> India Pale Ale. Uh, I forgot what the IBUs are on this thing, but it looks pretty good and six uh, percent alcohol. So you know, tastes good and they'll get you drunk. So <laughs> it is pretty tasty. I don't know if. Uh... Is Dogfish like a national company? Because I know we have the restaurant here. Well, they're a uh, they're a microbrew. I forgot where they're based out of, somewhere up north. <clears throat> but they've got these restaurants, the one that you're talking about, yeah. where they basically try to pitch their uh, their experiments and see if they sell well, and then they pair them with food. Not okay. a bad combination. All right. Uh, well, let's get to the first match. I guess let's roll to see who goes first. I got a six. Six. Uh, you I got, got a six. six as well, so let's re-roll. <laughs> Five. Five. And eleven. So I will uh, play first. All right. Uh, let's see. I've been shuffling a little bit. Do you want to cut? Ah, uh, no, whatever. All right. It's not like we're at a tournament thing. Nah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That that'll help. M13. Yeah, that's an old one. But it's whatever's in my backpack. <laughs> whatever works. Alright, uh, yeah. Alright, I'll keep it. <laughs> uh, this has some, I, I guess, do you want to show them what you have? Yeah, sure. Uh, let's see. I always feel like that's lacking in a lot of videos. It's like, would I keep? Normally, I probably wouldn't keep this, but this is, you know, just for fun. Uh, it really only relies on these two, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I have a, I don't know how well you can see that, but uh, this is kind of a risky hand, but I feel like it's got some later action, and um, early on in the game, if I can manage to pull something, from my first two or three draws, then I'll be fine, so I'm going to keep it. All right. All right. Cool. Uh, I will start out with a Land of War Wastes and pass to you. Cool. Draw. Going to gain a life. All right. 21. I need to shuffle this a little bit better. <laughs> All right, I'll take uh, take one, two, take two actually, and cat. play Rakshasa, so Death Dealer, and pass to you. Cool. All right. Gonna play 
a, another salt swift water yeah, swift water cliffs gain another life. All right. Go ahead. I'll check. Uh, go to combat and swing. Down twenty. I will play a planes and pass to you. And a scry mm -hmm. to the top. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to play uh, Obzon Charm and lose two life. Two for that, for playing it, and then two more. So down to 14 and draw two cards. Response to that. I guess yep. after that plays, after that resolves, I'll lightning strike your cat. All right. Uh, let's see. On tap. Swept teeth. No, that's actually not bad. I like it. The beer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going to fetch <clears throat> and go down to 13 and go find me a forest. Because I'm tired of taking damage or as much damage. I need to shuffle this better because it looks like everything is still clumped. Was that uh, President of the United States of America? She's, she's clump. She's clump? I think that's a lump. She's lump, yeah, right. Uh, yeah. I think I'm down to 12, and then I'll take one, and then play Siege Rhino. All right. And then go up to uh, 14. All right, go down to 17. Uh, past you. Scry. Hmm. That's fine. I will keep that there. All right. Go ahead. Uh, I'll go to combat. Kit. And attack with that for four. Down four. I'm um, at 13. Uh, second main, playing Urborg. And I'm going to play Thought Seeds. So you take two? Take two, unless you counter. Uh, no. Alright. Down to 12. Uh, hmm. to take the storm breath dragon so you're down to 10 uh no down to 12 down to 12 you gained i went up to from 11 okay. to 14 got it and then i lost two for that cool uh <clears throat> black preserve board and green another cat yeah and yeah your turn yeah Play land. Prognostic Sphinx. Go ahead. Um, end of turn, I'm going to take one for green, so down to 11. And I'm going to play Dromoka's Command, and I'm going to put a counter on this. Mm hmm. And then uh, have target creature fight that one, unless you're going to make it next group. <laughs> I do need it. I'll discard, dig through time. Alright. Doesn't tap it though, does it? does tap it. Oh, it does? That stinks. I assume that's why you were doing it. Oh. No, I was just trying to get it out off the board.
Hmm. Alright, I'll just go to uh, combat mm -hmm. and swing with uh, both those. For seven? Yes. Okay. I'm at six. And I'll play a Land of War Waste and pass. Hmm. Well, kind of got me by the short and curlies. So you have f a lot of damage coming my way. Pass. Alright. I will uh, play a land of war Mm-hmm. And then go to combat. Yep. And swing with those. <clears throat> I will block... damage. Uh, white, black, green. I'm going to put uh, two counters on uh, that guy with the Abzon charm. Uh, in response, Polymorphous Jest. Okay. So I'd kill, or whatever it does, uh, transforms both of them to 1-1 one, one frogs? Mm-hmm. All right. And Magma Jet. Uh, response to that, uh, pay one for white and one for green, down to nine. And Dramoka's command... Uh, prevent damage instant or sorcery would do uh, this turn. Which instant or sorcery? Well, Magma Jet. Because that's the only one that's doing Do damage. you have a Dramoka's command that isn't written on? Well, let's just see what that says. Um, okay. So. Well, you don't have a target. Oh, yeah, I guess you do. I could have waited. So, I'm preventing. Magma Jet. Magma Jet damage. And then I will, I guess, put another counter on it. As the uh, other mode. Okay, so that resolved preventing damage so that from resolves. this. I still get to scry. So that's the damage, or the other counter from that and preventing that damage. I'm going to put these on the bottom. So I'm going to scry those. Yep. Then yours would resolve turning this into a 1-1, one, one, mm -hmm. and then mine would resolve putting two counters on it. Yep. So, up to four counters. So it's a five, right? It's a 1-1 one, one frog that it gets turned into? 1-1. One, one. Yeah. So this was five damage, and this dies, yep. right? Because it has no abilities. Right. So I'm at one. Then I will pass to you. That's a big thing. I mean, I haven't watched too much Abzan, uh, Abzan aggro decks play, but uh, that uh, command is pretty good, in the, at least in this matchup <laughs> with the uh, red for burn. Um, 
I'm gonna swing. All right. Scry. Yep. All to the bottom. I'll take three down to six. I pay four. Stokey for four. Down to two. Pay one. Wild slash you for two. Ah, boo. Alright, well, let's do, uh, I guess, best out of five. Oh, we'll we'll uh, sideboard after two games or something. Cool. All right. uh, I assume you're on the play. Yeah, I'll be playing. If I have lands, what should I do? This is weird. I have one land. Do you want to show the. Well, you, should, you could just, like, show the camera and not tell me, because now I can't not know that. Oh, you're. Oh, well, yeah, I'm, I'm you're putting it back. In. Yeah. Alright. Even though my curve is low, I don't want to keep the land on the, on the play. I am going to keep this hand. This is a... It's risky, a little bit. But uh, I feel like I can weather the first few turns. That's That was the same thing I thought to myself the last game, and it seemed to work out. So let's let it ride. Let's see, new six. Hopefully that's better. Uh, all right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Actually, we probably shouldn't. I want to put this one back too. It was uh, five lands and one creature card. It was a dent protector, so mm -hmm. it really dent protect dent protector is good in I think like a longer game maybe. But yeah, because you can pull back a card, right? Yeah. But <clears throat> if I there was nothing I could pull back, and unless I drew into something that was better than Dead Protector, uh, that hand really wasn't that good. I ended up playing a guy who was doing green white something. I guess I, I think there's a name for it now, but it was the first time I encountered Dead Protector, and he ended up pulling back a uh, a Dromoka. Okay. <laughs> he initially uh, had to discard it, and I thought like, ah, sucker. <laughs> Yeah, right. I, uh, I barely well, won that one. I will keep this one, as you can see. That's a sand step citadel, because yeah. So I don't oh yeah, that's right. You wanted to borrow those, right, or have them? I have the two. You want? Yeah, if you don't mind. No. But at some point. At some point. I assume that you have one of them. I have uh, two of them, but that's a sand step that's citadel. That's a post-it note citadel. Yeah. Uh, and then I pass to you. It is a post-it note citadel. There you go. Look at that mountain. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I will play my real sense of citadel and pass. Coincidentally, I actually only have um, two of them. So oh. All right. Pass to you. All the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> Pass to you. Good sign. Um, yeah, I'll just draw. Gain a life. All right. Back to you. Uh, you're like, if you're not rushing me. I'm not going to force you to lose life. Not yet. There's two routes we can go. Uh, we can play. One of these two. Uh, I'm worried about trying to get that one to stick. So I'll go ahead and just play uh, uh, Fleece Man Line. And I'll play Caves of Coilos and pass. Because hmm. I don't know if he runs uh, certain counter spells. <laughs> I will magma jet you. Alright, done 18. And I will scry to. Hmm. Uh -huh. I think I'm going to keep those cards. Uh, I feel like it'll help me right now and then hopefully help me later on. So put those back. I'll draw one. And that costs five. Hmm. 
go ahead. Alright, I'll draw. I will play a, a land during my first main phase. Hmm, okay. Um, and I will go to attacks and attack for three. Okay. Uh, let's see. I will. It's probably a waste, but that thing being indestructible could be a pain in the ass. I'm going to polymorphous just the field. Okay. And Wild Slash. Alright, so it dies. Yep. Um, since he's tapped out now, uh, let's go ahead and cast the uh, Siege Rhino. And gain 3 up to 21. 18. And pass. Stormwrath Dragon. And I'll swing at you for four. Alright. Uh, down to 17. Go ahead. Draw. I wanted to attack him because I don't know if he has a kill spell, so I might as well get four damage out of it if yeah. I can. Might as well. Uh, I'll go to combat. Yep. Attack for four. All right. Any special tricks? No. All right. No. I take four to now. Now I'm at fourteen. Um, I will morph in that. Oops, not two of them. Uh, that. Wonder what it that is. And I'll play Mana Confluence and pass. All right. <clears throat> I will swing for four. All right, can't block. And And then I will lightning strike your unknown creature there. Alright, well then I'll uh, flip it up. I didn't know how much it cost it, I figured, I hoped it was more. It's surprisingly cheap. <laughs> and uh, get my fleece man back. Right. And response. Sure. Well, go ahead. And I took four, so down to thirteen. Hmm. All right, well, let's go to combat. Yep. Down to ten. All right. I will play a forest. Tap that for white, and that for green, play a fleece fang. Mm-hmm. And I guess pass. And you guess pass. Okay. Because I don't want a monster sitting and you kill it in response. So. Could happen. It could happen. Could happen. Swing. Okay. Down to nine. Okay. 
second main. Prophetic Sphinx. And that's my turn. Alright, I'll uh, take one and monstrous. Upkeep. Draw. Hmm. Go to combat. Yep. Yeah, so I'm gonna put those. For eight. For eight. Cosmet 10 makes me worried to block, or to not block, because you could just pump them. You haven't used a single one of your commands yet. No. Nope. And then you still have your, um, uh, the Abzan charm. Mm-hmm. So that's something to consider. It is. So it's either I block or I die. And I guess it doesn't really... I can't kill either one of them, so I will go with the Rhino. Alright. It's um. a lot of mana shuffling there. Yeah. I mean, it really doesn't matter because I'm going to end up taking damage anyways, so Abzan Charm put a counter on each of them. Can you split it up? Yep. Uh, distribute two 1-1 one, one counters among one or two creatures. Okay. So we'll put a counter here and another counter on here. Mm-hmm. And so then damage. Uh, that'll do five. And this will do five. So I only take five. Right. Uh, and I guess while you're tapped out... Ooh, I don't know. Should I play this? Because then you could... One, two, three, four, five. Then you could do... Four. <laughs> four, and then stoke me for four. So I guess... But then I could play this, and then I lose two. And then you could have... You could leave me open four... A little bit more damage. I could play this and take uh, two, so it would put me down to six. I'll just pass. Because you could definitely have a lightning strike or a wild flash or a stoke of flames. And you're at eight. I am at eight. I will swing. All right, can't block. Okay. Down four. I will stoke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you thought too much about it. You hey, I'd rather to think it. too much than not think enough. All right, well, let's go to the uh, sideboard then. To me, I'm going to side in some duresses. I'll, I'll see what I'm going to bring in. Uh, Duress is my other Dramoka's command. Uh, ultimate price would be good. Because uh, I haven't seen any multicolored uh, creatures. Sound. Um, as far as siding out. Don't know here. Maybe Den Protectors, they haven't been, I mean, I haven't really done anything, I used it that one time. Uh, Abzan Charm, it's been okay. I don't know, 
if this game is going to go long or not, so I'd rather keep that. And But it doesn't hit a few things, so maybe I'll take out one of those. A dent protector. Uh, working with the first tree seems kind of... Maybe I will take out those. Is that what you're looking at? Uh, this is what I'm considering taking out is these uh, Wardens of the First Tree and an Abzon Charm and bringing in these two Duress, uh, Dromokas Command and Ultimate Price. I feel like Warden of the First Tree dies to a lot of your removal and I can just invest this mana into it and then it just gets killed anyways because it won't be able to get any value out of it until I level, level it up like three times or something because it'll still be within that 3-3 three, three range mm -hmm. so you can still kill it with like a lightning strike or a uh, <clears throat> well, stoke the flames whereas I feel like the other creatures are somewhat more uh, resilient um, so yeah that's what I'm going to go with I think that's actually kind of how I figured you were going to side out. So I'm taking out, uh, I have two main board dissipates. There's probably better cards I could use. Um, that's, I was talking earlier how about how I think I would make some changes. I would, I guess, put Silumgar's Scorn, I think it is. That's the blue-blue. Yeah. Because I, I do have dragons and I would like to have more. So obviously that, that would be a very useful card uh, to have in its place of dissipate. Although it, it does have its own Merits as well, because there's a lot of cards that seem to come back from various reasons. Um, Den Protector <laughs> yeah. seems to be salvaging stuff, so uh, maybe that would be still good to keep, but I think I have some better cards that I could take out, or put in. Um, I'm taking out two Seder Fire Dancers. Uh, those are good if I want to be more... Um, seeking value for, from my burn spells, because I can just hit somebody in the face and then kill their creature, but you're probably going to be putting in bigger stuff um, to avoid my uh, smaller burn spells, so those are not effective. Um, taking out three Flame Speaker Adepts. I was talking about the Scry elements to this deck, and uh, those are good, but they cap out more or less, because uh, you're most likely going to only be scrying once per turn, uh, very rarely two. So at best, it's going to be a 4-3 first strike, and the power level of his creatures are probably going to increase, and so I'm not going to be able to kill rhinos or any buffed up guys, so they're not as effective anymore. What I am putting in, though, is uh, three flame, or I'm sorry, icefall regents. Those guys are pretty resilient uh, to various spells. Uh, they lock somebody down, so he can buff up his guys, and I'll just cap them. Um, two reality shift in case there's something so big that Roast can't deal with it. And it's also an instant. Uh, and then potentially I could maybe make him whiff something significant that's uh, maybe a spell uh, with the reality shift. So you never know. So that's what I'm putting in. All right. I assume you're on the play? Yeah, I'll be on the play. Um, so this is our hand right now. Um, I might just go ahead and keep it. We do. We can play this and hopefully draw into the ability to play that or any of those. So I'm gonna keep that. Cool. I have things. I have things. Um, I'm gonna keep it because um, the cards that I did put into my deck they are gonna require a little bit more mana. So um, I'm gonna keep this. All right. Also, I'm on the draw, so that helps too. I will uh, start with the line of war wastes and pass to you. All right. I'm choosing not to fire that off right now uh, because. You would hit you for three? Uh, not three.
but hit you for one. Yeah, but I'm not really I'm not casting anything immediately, so I was like, uh, I don't need to play it right now. I'm gonna scry. Uh, let's see, do I? And want that? I have the ability to have it turn to play if I can draw into a planes or. Light. So that's the card that I drew. I'm or that I scryed. I'm thinking with the type of cards that I have, it might be better to have that, just because it's it allows me to do a little bit more. Um, so I will keep that there for the time being. Okay. Go ahead. Well, I did not draw into a white source, so we'll play another land of war wastes. Uh, and at this point I will uh, play duress mm -hmm. and lose one. Is now we're getting to that three mana turn. Uh, let's see. What's it going to be? That's a good question. I think I'll take the Magma Jet. Okay. Because uh, we have answers for that. We don't have any plays that are over four right now. Even though I'm just giving him information. And I don't care if he really does that for one turn. It's just a, essentially just a fog. But uh, past you. Going to get a life. All right. Go ahead. Uh, unfortunately, I got a pass. Chip and Reef, go ahead. All right. Pass you. I got another for no land. Chip and Reef, <clears throat> go ahead. Yeah. Pass. Oh wait, actually, I have eight, so I have to discard. Uh. I'll discard that here as downfall. Pass. So I'm guessing you have more heroes downfalls to come. That's kind of a bummer. <laughs> so I will play land, and um, I will play a storm breath phoenix. So what was the tribute? Yeah, it's not actually a storm breath phoenix. It's a flame wreath phoenix. Uh, it is tribute to. When it enters the battlefield, if tribute wasn't paid, it gains haste, and this creature, when it dies, it gains when this creature dies, return it to its owner's hand. So either you want a 3-3 haste, or you Wait, want a 5-5 five, five that you can kill. And, All right. and it stays dead. Yeah, I'll, I'll pay tribute. So, it has two counters. Uh, Go ahead. Hmm. I'll pay one black, and... Make it pay the ultimate price. So I go down to 18. I'd rather do that now in case I draw into another land, which I did, uh, luckily. And now I have to pass because I don't have any white land still. <laughs> but it leaves me open to play other removal spells. Kind of a bummer because he... if I didn't know any better, <laughs> uh, I would assume that it would be safe to do this, so I'm just going to do it. In the interest of fairness, Stormbreath Dragon. Alright. Well, it resolves, but I will pay two and kill it with Heroes Downfall. So we go down to 16. Alright. Go ahead. Alright. Bon wait. Uh, well, I will pay Colorless Mana. And play that down. Morph. Okay. <laughs> play a mountain. The magma jet, your mysterious creature. Oh man, it's a deck protector. 
Um, these two cards. One could be good, one could be not so good. So, this is a contingency. We'll keep that there. That goes to the bottom. Go ahead. Alright. Yay! Uh, hmm. I will pay, uh, uh, actually three. I have to pay three. And I will play that. So I'll go down to 13. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing to play that over any of these. And nobody has the stample stroke for that still. And then these. Uh, no, I just chose to play that. <laughs> it's a good card. Yeah. Can it get. Does it go to other creatures? Yeah, the counter is one. Uh, so. If a creature card would put put into a graveyard from anywhere, exile it now. So, from now on, I guess whenever creature cards get put in the graveyards, they get exiled. So that runs counter to your den protector strategy. A little bit. Uh, and then when an offense of the foremost attacks, you put a 1-1 one -one counter on another target tapped creature. Hmm. So that sucks for things with vigilance. Yeah, true. Alright. That's your turn? Yeah. Cool. Let's untap draw. And I guess let's roast her. Alright. So I guess she goes in the graveyard since that ability is gone. Yes. Go ahead. Alright. Uh, I think I'm going to pass. Alright. And draw. These pain lands suck. <laughs> um, I will also pass. Alright. Well, that's kind of better. Uh, drew one step teeth. But what do I want to go fetch for? I imagine a uh, planes. Yeah. That's probably the best choice. Because I do have... So I will fetch and go down to 12 and go find a point. So look at the points. I think I'm going to take one for green and play Fleece Main Line and go down to 11. Out of curiosity, that uh, blinking indicator on your camera there, does that one minute mean that there's one minute of battery time left? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it should be plugged in, so there shouldn't be uh, any issues with... Well, we'll see if it turns off in a minute. Uh, okay, so you got a 3-3 three, three there. I have a 3-3 three, three now. Hmm. I guess... I guess that sticks around. Let's draw. Alright. <clears throat> Play a mountain. <laughs> and Storm Breath Dragon. Alright, Storm Breath Dragon. Resolves? Yep, it resolves. Sweet. Swing for four. Down to seven. Go ahead. Um... So bad. Upkeep. Draw. Ugh. Alright. 
Go to combat. Attack for three. Yep. Down to 18. Alright. Uh, play it out. Morph. <laughs> Pay one to unmorph it. Go down to six. Pay one? Or two, excuse me. Uh, pay one life to tap this for green. That's what I meant. Mega Morph. Uh, I'm gonna bring back ultimate price to my hand. The uh, past you. Well, that's a bummer. I'd rather do that all now, even though he still can. He's gonna get an attack this turn, and if he has a burn spell, dead. Well, what I'm hoping to do is I'm gonna activate its uh, oh, monstrous. monstrosity ability, and then you'll get hit for was that five? All right, so there's gonna be a slight delay, anyways. But nah, whatever. Well, okay. So um, my attack, I'm going to monstrosity, storm breath dragon. So then I have five cards, so I go down to one, and then he attacks, and I oh, take it's the three. So oh, look at that, negative six. <laughs> I didn't actually put in. No, I guess I cast a Roast. That was one of the cards I subbed in. Mm -hmm. And I did... So, out of curiosity, what did your last hand... What did, what did your remaining cards look like? Uh, well, the ultimate price I got back. Right. Uh, Dromoka's Command, a Siege mm -hmm. Rhino, an Abzan Charm, and another Flea Span Lion. Did you have the Abzan Charm a while ago? Um, yeah. I guess you couldn't have targeted it anyway. You needed... Because it's white. Yeah. So you needed the uh, ultimate price or... Yeah, I couldn't target that with uh, your your Siege Rhino, or not Siege Rhino, Stormbreath Dragon with it. So it's kind of useless in that sense uh, against uh, that card. Yeah, what did you... You could have held on to the first hero's downfall. I could have, but I had another one in my hand. I didn't think you would draw into... Another uh, creature. I could have. Tr oh, another Stormbreath Dragon. I yeah. Drew, I drew two. I could have held the ultimate price and <clears> hopefully <throat> eventually drew into a another uh, removal spell or uh, a White Land so I could play Abzan Charm and exile the uh, Flame Wake Phoenix or whatever it's called. The Flame, Flame Wreath Phoenix. Mm -hmm. But at the time I was hoping to play this. And then get another land and keep up removal for, uh, I guess, the Storm Breath Dragon, Storm which Dragon. is what happened, but then you drew another one. Right. And, so. and that's hard to plan for. I actually drew another Flame Wreath Phoenix. Uh, one of the cards that I held on to for a while was the real was Reality Shift, a card that I subbed in, because I assumed that you were going to play um, Abzan, or the uh, Siege Rhino. Yeah. And then you saw my Polymorphous Chest from the beginning and my Disdainful Stroke. Yeah. And so I never played the Siege Rhino because I knew it was just going to get countered. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, wrap up thoughts. How'd you, how'd you think this played out? Uh, I don't know. Yours seemed to be, do pretty well. At least against mine. Maybe I'm not playing this right. Uh, but a lot of people say that uh, Abzan Aggro is, I guess, the top tier, or at least a top tier deck at this point. Are they still saying that? I've kind of uh, yeah. not been paying attention. Uh, a lot of people say it is uh, the one of the decks to beat. Although, I would say if you're playing red and against any deck that's playing Den Protector, I would definitely run Anger of the Gods. Um especially if they're playing that whole Damn Protector, Death Miss Raptor combo, where is it would exile them anyways. I actually have uh, Anger of the Gods in the sideboard, yeah. uh, so I, I'm prepared for the quicker, more nimble decks. But, yeah, that would... I, I, I entertained the idea of um, putting that in, but I figured that maybe I can just control the field a little bit more. Um, before the and you only can bring them back. You only have what? How many of them? Which one? Dead protectors? protectors. Four. I was just kind of gambling that I would just draw better. That I put, or at least that I put in this build. If if they became a threat, I may sideboard uh, the anger of the gods in. 
yeah. later on. But uh, yeah, key difference though between our decks, you were doing three colors and I was doing two. And uh, you were running a lot more uh, Painlands. Um, I'm running a playset of Shivan Reef, but how many of the um, Painlands are you running? Um, I mean, there's play sets of Caves of Quellos and of the Atlanta War Waste. So. And then I saw a Mana Confluence as well, so you're running at least like nine pain lands or something. There is a Mana Confluence that's supposed to be a, a Windswept Teeth, but I thought I had four, but oh, I only okay. had three. Yeah, so, so I just threw that in. Having those in there, um, drawing cards, it feels like that you're doing a lot of damage to yourself, and, and I have burn spells, and that's always just historically a bad matchup. Yeah. So... Yeah, looks uh, looks like that. <laughs> so what about um, what do you think of your beer? Uh, it's good. Um, I like Dogfish Head beers, and this is not one of my favorite among them. Can't mm -hmm. think of any of immediate ones, but it's okay. I don't I don't uh, regret buying it. Well, it's good. Yeah, have you ever regretted buying any beer? Has there been one that's been like, oh, this tastes like shit? No, because if it tasted like shit, then I intentionally bought it expecting it to taste like shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just for comedic value. It's like, oh, man, that's just bad. Taste this. <laughs> you, that's happened to me like once or twice. I bought a beer trying to like taste it, and it tasted like shit to me. I still drank it. Like I forced myself to. Like, I paid for this and drink it. I mean, in college, I was drinking ice beers, like uh, natural ice, oh. Milwaukee's best ice. Yeah. And those don't taste good, so... No, no, they don't. If you drink those a lot and you move to anything else, anything else isn't going to taste so bad. <laughs> so it's hard for me to really think about, like, something that I don't like. Maybe something that uh, it just doesn't taste as great. Like, I'm not a fan of Keystone, because that's just, like... Water. I don't know, Mexican water. Yeah. This is bad. I don't think it's Mexican, though. It's no, it's, uh, it's Mexican water. Will, it's oh. gross and will cause indigestion. And, okay, I got you. Know. <laughs> All right, well, uh, thanks for tuning in if you're watching. Uh, if you like the videos, press the like button. And, uh, again, we're trying to do this as a weekly thing, so if you uh, like the video, subscribe. Come back next week. Uh, if you... Have any beer suggestions for us to try on the show? Uh, please put them down in the comments along with any comments you might have. And uh, again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys. See you.